At six in exactly one week at this time, a South Carolina death row inmate is scheduled to be executed. This afternoon, a U.S. federal judge denied a stay for that inmate. Fox 46 chief legal correspondent Seema Iyer was the only television reporter in the Florence federal courtroom during Wednesday's hearing. And she's here now to break down this decision for us. Seema. Yeah, Lindsay. Brad Sigmund and... Freddie Owens, these death row inmates, they asked a federal judge to find that the electric chair violates the Eighth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, saying that it is cruel and unusual punishment. Now, this case, it stems from Governor Henry McMaster's amendment or bill where he added firing squad to the methods available for death row inmates, except the firing squad hasn't been formed yet, and lethal injection, that was also a method, well, it's been widely, uh, at least there's, there's speculation that there are no lethal drugs available for that. So the only available method is electrocution, and Sigmund and Owens are set to die on June 18th and June 25th, respectively. Now, Justice Harwell wrote a very detailed 12-page decision citing to all the cases relied upon by the plaintiffs as well as the defendants. Governor McMaster and Brian Sterling, the director of corrections being those defendants, judge starts the discussion with a blow to the inmates saying, quote, legal precedent and the weight of legal authority are against them. Judge goes on to say the plaintiffs can't survive over 100 years of precedent that electrocution isn't cruel and unusual, that lethal injection is substantially less painful than electrocution. And finally, the plaintiffs didn't show that lethal drugs are even available as a choice. So bottom line, the decision, it was filled with very strong language. There was no room here for interpretation. So in one week, Today, South Carolina is set to witness the first execution it's seen in over a decade. Lindsay. So, Seema, what happens next? Are there any other options for the inmates to delay their executions? I believe from what I am learning from their lawyers at Justice 360, a nonprofit, that there is one more vehicle left. There is some type of stay of execution pending in the state Supreme Court. Now, I don't know when that decision will come down, but as you said, I mean, it's exactly a week, Lindsay. It's 6 p.m. 6 p.m. next Friday, Brad Sigmund is scheduled to die, and then the following week is Freddie Owens. Yeah, so who knows if that decision will come in time then, right? It, well, it could come really at like 5.59. Okay. When we're probably going to be there covering it. All right. Seema, thanks.